it's Brittany. I thought I would challenge myself and learn Blender in 30 days and bring you along for the journey. So today is part one, so it's day one to 10. Um, and it's just the beginner stage. I've never dipped into Blender before and it's just me going to be learning lots of different tutorials and techniques and hopefully completing this. And if you're watching this, then I made it to at least day 10. So, so today is November the 7th, which means the final day will be December 6th. And you're probably wondering, how can I take 30 days out of my life to learn Blender? Well, I am a freelance graphic designer specializing in branding. Um, and as we're close to Christmas, a lot of my design assets are already ticked off until January. So I have a little bit of time on my hands. The reason why I want to learn Blender is I'm really interested in the 3D space. The more design assets I can create, the 3D world. I feel like learning Blender will give me a great opportunity uh, for projects now and projects in the future and I just it's a platform that I'm really excited about. Let's just jump straight into day one. So for day one I think we're going to do this tutorial and let's start. So this is just a time lapse of what I was doing because I was incredibly slow and there are definitely patches where nothing happens so in this I was just kind of trying to model the frog um, and just getting used to the vertices um and how to shape them and i wasn't really doing that good of a job so i thought i would do a chicken at this point um i'm really happy with how the little frog is looking i think he's really cute i've been struggling a little bit with the like camera movements of like up and down and the axes and stuff like that but i think he's looking really good and i'm really happy with how he's looking there's a couple of things that i don't understand i don't understand why all my scene collection is over here and how i moved it away and so yeah there's just a couple of things i don't really get. For someone who hasn't dipped into Blender before, I think this is going really well. But this is only day one and this is an easy tutorial for beginners. So we'll see how we go. So as I was going through here, I noticed that I have a lot of vertices and a lot more than what she has in the tutorial. So to fight that, I go back to our object mode. I'm going to add the modifier decimate. I'm going to do unsubdivide and then you can see the face count here. We're going to turn it up so that goes down. Might try this and see what it looks like. So I just apply it and then go back to edit mode. That is way better. Oh my god, that's perfect. So this is just me doing the UV mapping so that then I can paint on the frog. So just trying to move everything around and then I go down to the nodes and try to work that out and now I'm just literally painting it all on. I didn't do the best job here but I was having a lot of fun and learning this was quite a challenge and then I just went into playing with all the lights and seeing what looked best. This is the end of day one. He looks good. I'm really happy with him. I think that the brush work could definitely be a bit better but this guy took me a solid three and a half hours. I'm happy with the current result and it's just day one so it's only going to get better. There's a little bit of clipping here. I'm aware of that. I want to get better at using the camera a little bit and I feel like my muscle memory with all of the different settings and functions is getting a lot better just after day one so I'm excited to see what we do tomorrow. Welcome to day two let's just jump straight into it. We made it through day one um, and yesterday we did a frog so today I thought we'd keep it in the same realm and do this little rabbit tutorial here. As we go throughout the 30 days I think each of the tutorials and everything I design is going to get a little bit more complex but for the first few days proceeding to be a little bit simple so that I can actually accomplish it so I'm actually motivated to do the rest of the days. So this is the bunny so far. I think we're like 15 minutes into the video and I'm really happy with how the vertices look today. I felt like yesterday they were like all over the place. So these are looking really good. I'm really happy with them and the way that I've structured the ear as well. For day two, not too bad. So I didn't know I was going to be sculpting hands today on the second day. They're okay. They're not the worst hands I've ever seen in my entire life but also not the best. I only did four fingers. Let's not look at it from the bottom. This is very hard. <laughs> so this is the current situation. I am six hours into this rabbit which the frog was beautiful I loved making him this rabbit I hate him so much so it got to the point where I for each section like the dress section I had 130,000 vertices which is way too many so at that point I should just scrap it and start over so I think for day two we're not gonna have like a final rendered product this is also my UV map it's just it's all so bad I think I'm a little sad that day two I can't produce anything but I would have been even more sad if on day one I didn't have anything so at least I know I can make something but tomorrow we're not gonna make a character I think we're gonna make something else that I don't have to do the sculpting for because the sculpting just takes me so much time so that's the plan hope you're not too disappointed with day two but I'll see you for day three welcome to day three 
Let's see if I can complete something today. So today I'm going to be doing the 3D isometric bedroom. Hopefully this tutorial is a little bit easier than doing the character yesterday. I'm a little bit sad about that but there's no sculpting in this so hopefully it's just helps me a little bit and I just get better at the skills in Blender because that's what I'm trying to do for the first 10 days is just get a little bit better at using the tools and knowing what everything is. So I forgot to do an update as we were going because I was just in the swing of things. This is the room we have at the moment. It's looking a lot better than what we were making yesterday. The bed is really cute with a little blanket, a little lamp on the side table and then a little pot up the top and some picture frames. I think it's looking really good so far and I am over halfway through the tutorial so hopefully I can get it done in the next hour and not spend six hours on the sun today but we will see. So this is me just making the little plant that goes in the pot. I'm still getting used to putting everything on the axes and making it just a little bit more like square and perfect and so now I'm working on the books. I really enjoyed that. I thought they looked like books straight away so it brought me a lot of joy for such a simple thing. So I did three little books on the shelf. Man I was really happy with the outcome. This only took me like seven minutes to do so super stoked. We did it! Yay! I didn't think I would ever be able to create anything ever again after yesterday. But here we are today and then if I pull this over you can see it all rendered. It is very cute. I'm very happy. Um, I've decided I don't like sculpting and instead I like what we did today. It's just it's so perfect so it gives me a little bit more encouragement for the next day. So I will see you for day four. I'm going to start today by doing this low poly world. Um, if I just flick through to it. This is hopefully what I'll be making today. I've maybe spent 15 minutes on this so far and he's looking really good. So this is just the low poly world. The water's looking good. Nick did up some like shader and glossy nodes down the bottom down the side here so that the water would just look a little bit more like low poly water. Quite happy with it so far. I think she's looking really cute. So today has been a very good day. So we did the low poly worlds and so I'm still working on it but I'm just doing the little rocks for the fire pit and it is just I'm having a lot of fun today so I'm really happy with the outcome if I just zoom out. Still don't know how to use my camera. Uh, look how cute she's looking. I'm, I'm very impressed. So this is it done. I'm just gonna render it. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. Welcome to day five. Today we're going to make a cute shroom. This is me just building the mushroom. As it's day five, I now have a lot of the hockeys under wraps. So this whole mushroom took me about five minutes to build. I was very happy with that. I feel like I'm actually getting better, which is good. And I have to do way less Googling than what I've had to do on the other days. Um, then I added the spots to the roof of the mushroom. And then I just made the little leaves and duplicated them around. This is me just coloring everything in and then highlighting the dots on the mushroom. Yay! So this is the end. So the tutorial was 20 minutes and I think I did this in about an hour and a half which is really cool. So I'll bring over the render. Move my face out of the way. So this is what it looks like. My first time doing like glowing lights up here and then cute little grass. I feel like it was a little more simple than the one we did yesterday but every day it doesn't have to get 300% harder. So very happy with the outcome today. I'm feeling really inspired and just really creative in this 3D space. Um, usually as a brand designer, I work with a lot of clients and I can get a lot of creative blocks. So I feel like Learning Blender has really helped me get out of that creative block. And I'm just so inspired. I keep having dreams about like Blender and 3D and all this type of thing. And I have so many exciting things that I want to make now. And I'm slowly building up the confidence to do that. So here's the robot that I'm going to be making. And let's just jump straight into it. So this is the robot so far. He's all done mainly in like the body but I just need to do the coloring of all the materials. I tried to do it but it was just taking a little bit too much time and it's Saturday so I'm gonna do all the coloring of him tomorrow and I will see you then. So it's day seven and I'm just trying to do all the coloring and textures of all the meshes for this robot. Um, a little annoying part about this tutorial was not all the textures were linked so I had to go in and try and find them all which was a little bit frustrating and took me a little bit more time than I thought. But then I went in and I started doing the face of the robot and doing his eyes and his little mouth. Once that was done I started coloring them in and then I also did the mouth. Um, I always have trouble with the camera here but I then started to add in all 
all the other textures for the body um, and I thought it was looking really good especially with the cylinder look and the scraped metal. Then I added in the textures for his arms which was a rubber texture, his uh, little feet, his neck and then I also added the same texture to the headphones. One thing that I did miss was his little antenna so I started adding it in there. Um, it was just a cylinder, moved it around, made it look like an antenna. So I was just wanting to do all of the materials today for the robot because I didn't get to it yesterday um, and it did take me quite a lot of time to just like connect up all the nodes and sort that out but I just go here and show you him look how cute and let me render him for you yay it definitely gives him a little bit more life um, and I'm really happy with kind of how the scratch metal turned out and the rubber elements as well so really happy so I will see you for day eight welcome to day eight Today is a very exciting day because today we're going to be doing the donut tutorial um, which I probably should have done on day one but because the tutorial is like eight hours long I was a little bit too intimidated and wanted to start off with something that I could complete straight away to build my confidence. So today we're going to do this um, and it might turn into a couple days depending how fast I can get through the tutorials but hopefully he can help me out with some questions that I have as well. Um, some of the tutorials I've done haven't had the best explainers of how to do certain things uh, so I've just been having to google the answers for them so we'll see how today goes. So this is me beginning to make the donut so I started out with a torus and then turned it down more into a donut shape and here I'm just kind of moving around all the vertices just so that it looks more like a donut because a donut isn't just a circle a donut is more like abstract so I'm trying to give that vibe to it so I spent a little bit of time doing that and playing around with the settings there then I went in to do the icing um, and I just copied the top half of the torus and then started doing the icing there this is me just extruding down um, so that I can create the drips for the icing uh, so that the icing looks a little bit more realistic. And here is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, I decided to go in and do the dip in the center of the donut where it gets deep fried uh, just to make it look a little bit more real and I was quite happy with how it was all looking. So I'm up to tutorial 4 out of 16 and it's taken me maybe 30 minutes to get there because I've had the other days of like doing all the tutorials, a lot of the stuff he's saying just makes a lot of sense to me so I can listen to it at 1.5 times speed and go a little bit faster. So here you can see I'm just doing the little drips of the donut and he's looking really good. I was a little worried going into the tutorial today that it would be too complicated and I wouldn't be able to do it but I'm so far really happy with uh, the 30 minutes I've spent on this. So here I'm just sculpting um, and making the drips a little bit more fat at the bottom because that's what a drip looks like. I did quite a lot of fun sculpting um, and then I went in and played with all the nodes to add in uh, textures to make the donut look more real um, and I was quite blown away about how quickly this happened. Then I went in and painted the dip of the donut white uh, so that it looked a little bit more realistic. How good is this looking? Oh my god. So this took me two hours to get to this point and now I think I just need to put the icing back on smooth around the painting a little bit and then I think we add the sprinkles and that is all of the 3d done for it so this has been a really good tutorial I'm really happy with today so this is what I have so far this is the donut rendered I did start on the sprinkles but I've spent quite a few hours on this now so I think I'm going to be doing the sprinkles tomorrow but I'm really happy with how he's looking and this whole tutorial has been just really great and answered a lot of questions for me so I will see you for day nine welcome to day nine so yesterday we did this cute donut and today I want to finish off the tutorial and do the rest of the sprinkles on it. I don't think I'll be getting into the animation because the animation is like another six tutorials and I don't think I'm ready for the animation stuff yet so that's the plan for today. So this is the donut with the sprinkles. I think it's looking really good. There is a little bit of clipping between the sprinkles but just don't look at that. Um, the sprinkles didn't take me too much time maybe like 30 to 45 minutes but the lighting always takes me a long time so that took me like an hour and I still don't think it's exactly right but that's okay. Um, I have something really exciting for day 10 so I'm gonna stop now for day 9 and then go work on that. I will see you tomorrow. Welcome to day 10. I had no idea if I would even make it to day 10 after day 2's horrific rabbit uh, episode but here we are. I'm really excited. Um, I've had a really good time doing the donut and I feel like 
I'm learning a lot more skills in Blender and I understand it a little bit more. So, so today I'm going to take on my own mission and my own project. Um, and it's a project that I want to come back to on day 20 and day 30 and add more to. So I'll just show you. I've just uh, done a sketch in Procreate on my iPad. We're just going to show and tell it for you. So I want to do a little donut shop and incorporate the donut aspect of everything we've done over the last few days. Then I also want to add in the low poly water to the bottom and I want it to be like a little plinth floating on water. The idea of this is that there's more space on the plinth. On days 20 and 30 I'm going to use what I've done and what I know to create more buildings on here so it's going to be like a small shop island. Um, so yeah today's one is going to be a little donut shop with a donut at the top. We're going to use the uh, isometric plant from the room as well. I need to find a way to incorporate the robot in there and I'm also going to incorporate the frog. I think I'm going to have him sitting in the water in like a little pool floaty. That's the plan for today. Let's just jump straight into it. So this is me just making the platform and adding a bevel modifier just to round out the edges and then just doing some supporting beams. Here I did the array modifier to do the planks, very similar to what we did when we did the isometric room, which was really cool. Um, really cool that I remembered it as well and I fiddled around with it for a little bit of time. Then I went in and did the barrels, which was quite a lot of fun. I also used the array modifier on them as well. And then I rounded out each side so it would look more like a barrel or like a little floaty. And then this is what it was looking like. I colored it in a little bit and was really happy with it so far. So this is what I have so far, um, everything like this. So I've got the water at the bottom. Uh, and it's low poly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I have the little barrels that the little island is sitting on, the little platform, and then this little house with this little light. And you can just see the light is illuminated just there. Um, this is going to be like a little donut house. I'm going to do a donut on the top still, and I need to do all the windows and all of that, but making progress. So this is day 10 all rendered up. So as we go out on Day 20 and 30, I want to add um, more shops to this little island. But these are just the skills that I've learned in the first 10 days. So there's obviously the donut there. Um, I am aware the icing is not on the top there at the moment, but I will be fixing that. Um, I've got a little plant from the isometric room, my mushrooms on the side, my little frog and my little robot both sitting in like donut floaties. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Day 10 has gone really well and I can't wait to add more elements to this. So day 10 is done, which is really great. I'm really happy. I feel like I'm actually getting the grasp of Blender. After day 2 when I did the rabbit and it was just a little bit of a mess, I honestly thought I was going to quit and then just scrap all this video. But I'm glad I keep going and I'm really excited for what's to come. My favourite thing I did and designed over the last 10 days was definitely the frog on day one. He's just so cute, gave me so much confidence and he just everything I've ever dreamt of. The best tutorial I've done was definitely the donut by Blender Guru. I just, he explains everything so well and it's really good. Um, it is like nine hours of tutorials though, but really well worth it. And I should have definitely done that on day two or three, but no regrets in the order that I ended up doing everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in part two for days 11 to 20.